I've written out two numbers here, and they both contain four, they each have four as a digit. And I want to think about what the values of these fours are and to actually compare them. So I encourage you to pause the video and try that, on, try that out on your own. So let's look at the two fours here. So in 110,413, I have a four right over here. And what does that actually represent? Well, this is the ones place. You have three ones. You have one tens. And the four is in the hundreds place. You have four hundreds. So this four literally represents four times 100, or 400. Now what about this four? Well, once again, you have one, zero ones. You have five tens. You have three hundreds. And you have four, you have four thousands. Four thousand. So this literally represents four times one thousand. Four times one thousand, which is four thousand. So we can now compare the two. The four in one hundred ten thousand four hundred thirteen is one tenth the value of the four in fifty four thousand three hundred and fifty. And it makes complete sense. This four is one place to the right of this four. This four is in the thousands. The magenta circled four is in the hundreds. So every time we move a place value to the right, we're going, it represents what the, each, each increment rec re represents one tenth as much, assuming we have the same digit. So a four in thousands is 4,000. A four in hundreds would be one tenth as much. A four in the tens would be one tenth as much as that. So we could write a sentence, the, let me write it this way, the value, value of the, of the four, of the four in this number is, is one tenth, one tenth the value, the value of the four of the four in this number. I know it's a little bit weird sentence. The value of the four in 110,413 is one tenth the value of the four in 54,350.